Hey everybody, Run This 342 here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to be marked for death by Zanuka Hunter. Now, if you don't know who, who the heck Zanuka is, well, let me show you a quick this a quick picture of who the Zanuka Hunter is. They have Zanuka, which is a boss fight from Jupiter, which is Alec V and his pet Zanuka, which was created by an experimentation with Tenno using Tenno parts to create a a, a, uh, a machine that imitates Tenno powers. I was looking for a word AI, but no, uh, it's something else. But regardless, um, Zanuka, Zanuka and Zanuka Hunter are slightly different, just in aesthetic-wise. But uh, Zanuka Hunter is a little bit more aggressive than Zanuka. This is the normal Zanuka that you will fight in Jupiter. Once you eliminate it and Alad V, you get parts for Valkyrie. But if you want to fight the one that hunts you down, Zanuka Hunter, well, that one drops the Tron parts and other parts, as well as an, a sigil from the Hunter itself. This is the Zanuka Hunter. Because as you can tell, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the uh, original color of Valkyrie on it. This one just hunts you down. And if you are caught and you fail and it actually kills you, you are sent into a lab of Alad V's and you have to escape while also recovering all your weapons. But the point of this video isn't, isn't what to do when you're caught and escaping, it's how to spawn him. So let me show you the emblem. It's I'm actually equipped, I have it equipped on my Wukong right now. Sorry for the stuttering, it's kind of early in the morning. But let me show you the emblem. The emblem is this bad boy right here. Attach regular front sigil. That is the, Z the Zanuka Hunter emblem that you earn if you defeat it, and it's ch it's all chance based. So I cannot tell you it's guaranteed, but you have a chance of obtaining this emblem if you take down the Zanuka Hunter. It used to be called the Harvester, but then they changed it to Zanuka Hunter. Some, if you ever hear someone refer to the Harvester, they are referring to the Zanuka Hunter. But let's get to it. Um, how to actually be marked for him. Unlike the stalker, which you kill the boss and you have a chance of him sending you a message saying you are marked. Um, to get Zanuka Hunter to mark you for death, you need to do these missions here. It's indicated by the fists on your icon, the invasions. You have to go to one that has Corpus versus Grenier. It'll be this one right here. Corpus Siege. And what you have to do is you have to side with the Grenier, so you oppose the Corpus. Now, if you do this and you complete it three to five times, whichever the limit is, you have a chance of Alan V sending you a message, just like a stalker does, pretty much notifying you you are marked for death, and you have a chance of Zanuka Hunter spawning in any mission that does not regard aiding Corpus. Just like the stalker has a chance to spawn in any mission except the boss fight. But let's get to it. I want to show you guys just a glimpse of it. I'm on my third one. I'll try to go solo. But let's see what happens, to be honest. I might get marked. I might not. All right, let's begin. I'm going to get a few sips of coffee. Eliminate all corpus. Whew. Okay, I have the boat prime equipped for the sake of uh, my amazing frame that loves to use the regular bow as his ultimate. Put him in the bow prime. I just lost all my energy, that's well. Apparently, even though I'm aiding the Grenier, that's nice. I equipped the Vandal version of the Dara. It is amazing. I would usually use this against the Grenier, but I'm leveling it right now. It gets the job done. It's been formed twice, it'll be formed more. But the point of all this is to just annihilate all Corpus that, are, that gets in your way. Um, how invasions work for you new players, especially PS4 players, if you have it, and you just started playing the game. Um, they grant you a resource, depending on who you aid with. Either it's credits, which is money you can spend in-game, or it's a resource item, such as a Roken Cell, which is what I'm aiming for, a Fusion Course, which sometimes are amazing, and just sometimes a resource like mut mut Mutagen Samples, which is actually when you doing an invasion against the infested, or you could get uh, like gallium, um, what else is a good resource that people want, uh, I guess control modules, which aren't really what people want, but it happens. 
Uh, but you might get some really rare resources, like maybe Morphix is up, or stuff like that, because I believe you do need Morphix to create some of the basic frames. But, try to think back, since it's been so long since I've done basic frames, <laughs> it's been quite like two years, but yeah, I'm just going to be killing stuff, hopefully my weapon levels up, it's at level right, 29 right now. Uh, we'll need another former for it, but that'll be for another day, because I need to farm Void for some good old forma. So, let's just kill these guys, but Dara, Dara only has, I believe, three mods? Uh, Serration for damage, uh, Split Chamber for more damage, and I believe the last one was it a mod, uh, I don't know what type of mod it was. It's not, any, it's not an elemental mod, it's one of the mods. Uh, I would say... Oh, the ammo a mutation mod for this weapon. Absolutely. Whoa, the thing just split. Alright. Now, what you have to watch out, players, is uh, there's one MOA proxy. That's what I wanted to call it. One proxy that's... That's what the MOAs are called. Proxy MOAs. Um, that glides over you and unleashes these little balls of static that have like a blue bluish look to it. That is dangerous. Do not step in that. Right now at low level, you may not feel it. When you enter endgame, that's going to one-shot you. So you really don't want, you want to get used to like not getting into that bubble. It's like standing in fire in MMOs. No stand in the fire. And in this case, don't stand in the blue s static electricity. <laughs> or the blue field, whatever it is. Blue stuff is bad. There it is, this guy. Sapping Osprey. That blue thing will kill you. <laughs> you do not want to be stepping on that. Gotta get used to not being on it. Okay. Let's keep it going. I forget I'm on that person's side. Let's just blast the corpus a bit. If you ever want to, if you ever want to headshot a uh, moa, you don't aim for the head turret. You aim for the chest. The head of that moa is actually on the chest. Let's take care of this guy. Activate my invincibility. So I'm being, I need to reload. All right, let's just blast them all. I'll, I have the Fi active, I'll be fine. Don't worry about my health. Alright, someone's following me, and he's dead. Okay, we're going this way. Lost a huge chunk of my health. But I feel confident. Use the bow to slap the people. Alright, blast them. The Fi should activate once I lose everything. Defy is an ability my frame has, which once I hit 0 HP, um, I, I automatically gain a chunk of it back, or I won't die. But I do have a cooldown on it, quite a few seconds, so if I die again, I'm actually dead. I can't, I'm not, I can't be a true god, I just defy death once. Like right now, it's been defied, all my health has been regenerated, and, or a big chunk of it, actually, like two-thirds of it. And now it has a cooldown, and I, is it active still? It's still active, awesome. Alright, let me focus a bit. There we go. 122 enemies stepping on that blue stuff, which I shouldn't. Right, they're up here. So I think. Right. If you're wondering what software I'm using to record this, it is Frax actually. We have to pay to buy it. I try I use OBS in a few videos. And uh, it likes to mess with my mic. It like this like it likes to disable my mic. It really, really annoys me. So now I'm recording voice on the webcam, since the webcam has a microphone built into it, which is amazing. But let's keep going. All right, sped the video a little bit up. Getting some massive damage. The fly is now active. That was close. All right. He's not even hitting me. Alright, we're about... We're almost at the end, actually. Who's this? You really gotta watch out for those users with the Flux. The Flux does massive slash damage on it. Which is interesting, because these weapons aren't supposed to do slash. They're supposed to do impact. Which is the weakness of the Grenier. With their armor. Impacting them. But, um... Yeah. The, it does lots massive slash damage against uh, anyone with armor, which is interesting. I think this does this really heavily damages ferrite users. 
Because it does a lot of damage to Grenier, um, Grenier's just really bad with the like, shields. So for this weapon of mine, which is Dara, I'd probably have to e equip a, uh, mod that grants me magnetic damage to uh, reduce the, uh, well, increase the damage done to their shield, reduce it faster. So let's see, we have a missing guy. There's a proxy. Two of them. Plus that shield. For the Lotus. No, not for the Lotus. Um, for YouTube. Alright. Let's, uh... Okay. Bonk. Alright. I might have missed someone way back there. Let me see. I have. That's one of the bad things about these invasion missions. If you forget someone, you have to backtrack all the way. Find them and get rid of them. Okay, we still have more. Unless that's the end. Now we have to go back this way. See the backtracking? It's incredible. But this so far, this is my favorite frame right now. Captain Hydroid's in second place. Excalibur's in third. Why I like this frame so much? I don't know, I think it's just the pants. The feet. Well, they look baggy. But, uh, okay, 22, I guess that one died. Two more enemies. Probably at the end of the mission. Let's get there real quick. There's one right here. He's dead. The good thing about it, this invasion, however, besides the bad part, which you have to backtrack, there's a chance that uh, your uh, allies will kill whoever's missing way back there. Okay, we made it. Now, let's see if we're marked. This would be interesting. Hopefully, I'm level 30 now. Come on, weapon. Yes, there was maxed. Awesome. So now let's check if we are marked. This is a chance. It's not guaranteed. If it's marked, it would be great for the video. But let's find out if we are marked. It loads up. If it is, it will pop up instantly as a message. We were not marked, unfortunately. And if you were, it would pop up instantly on your inbox. But it wasn't. See if I have an old mark of him. Nope. The old stalker marks, of course. <laughs> oh, it would look like something like this. Another volunteer. And I'll say thank you for your continued interest in the Zanuka project. A member of our staff will assist you shortly. Now, I'm not sure if it looks like that now because that's a very, very, very old message. But that's how it used to look like. I don't know if it's like a 3D message now. But that's how it usually happens, and you usually get marked. It's just chance. Right now, this is the only invasion mission in, regard, in regards to Corpus versus Grenier, so I can't show you another clip, which act, act, is actually me getting marked. But if you do that, you have a chance of getting marked, and if you do, you have a chance of him spawning on you. And if you kill him, you, not only can you get the sigil from him, but you can get pieces to the Dara uh, pistol, which I have two versions of it. The Mara, you get it from uh, Ducats from the Roy Trader, but that's not what you get from Zanuka. Uh, Hunter, you get the regular Dara, which is right here. It's this thing. This thing does pretty good damage. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys now understand how to spawn the Zanuka uh, Hunter, aka Harvester, and hopefully helps you out in the future with your, your future weapon hunting. But it's a really good weapon. I would recommend you try it. Definitely, it's, it's especially for the sake of collection or just to rank up. It's really cool. I like it. it. Has cool effects and it's a little blaster, so it's awesome. So, anyways, I'm Ernest G42. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I'll see you next time.